Hendersonville's fire department is about to be significantly larger. The city just hired 19 new recruits because of a federal grant. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, it's a major milestone for the department in a city on the rise. It's a year of first for the Hendersonville Fire Department. It's the first time that the department will be this large. And it's also the first time that the department will have its first female firefighter. When you fight fires for a living, the details matter. Are y'all ready to go? This is important training, and these new recruits have a lot of skills to learn and repeat. What they're doing is called a bailout training, uh, and that's self-survival. A flame starts to overtake the space, and firefighters need to get out quick. Headfirst is the way to go. All 19 of these new hires will learn this skill. Their jobs are the result of a federal grant. It covers 75% of the costs for salary and insurance for two years then 35% for the third year. The city picks up the rest of the cost. It will help with manpower and uh, ability to perform our job a little more safe uh, on actual work and scenes. And if you ask the chief, he'll tell you there's something special about this group. Uh, my name's Grace. I was uh, raised here in Hendersonville. Grace Lawson is the first female firefighter this department has ever had. Uh, she is a top-notch person. Uh, she's worked out very well for us, and uh, we certainly expect good things from her. It's a big deal, but if you ask Lawson about it, she'll say this. It's, it's really an honor. Um, it feels really special, but I'm, I'm looking forward to just being part of the team rather than known as the first female firefighter. One of many here to help Hendersonville. That was one of the reasons why I applied for Hendersonville. I've grown up here, and, and that's who I wanted to help and, and respond to. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5. Chief Bush says the federal grant amounts to about $70,000 per month to pay for the new firefighters. They'll be split across the city's six locations.